Hey, what's up, guys? You're watching Showski.com. I'm Homewrecker. I'm here at Mumba Mansion. It's about to get live. Uh, originally, I grew up in a treehouse in Maine. Uh, not really a treehouse. I moved to Miami just recently from Boston. Music's always been huge in my life. Uh, I started making really shitty mashups when I was like 17. Been doing it for quite a quite a while now. No more mashups in my life though. Um, yeah, that's about it. Three words. Damn. Check it out. Um, I've been here for about four months, and about a month ago I got to play at Matt Decent Block Party um, in Fort Lauderdale. That was pretty wild. Uh, the culture here, just in itself, is the reason I love this city so far. Um, you can find anything from like rock shows uh, to trap shows. There's everything. Coming from Boston, Boston's a great city, don't get me wrong, but uh, the scene is still growing. So the music scene here is amazing. I love Wynwood. The art scene there is a fucking awesome. Uh, definitely recommend walking around there, checking it out. But so far, everybody I've met in Miami musically has been really dope, treated me with respect, and uh, it's been a mutual thing. So I'm really pumped to be here. Uh, down here, um, well, Neighbor is the first artist I knew when I moved here. He's actually part of my, uh, my label. I have a label called The Mob. Uh, everything we put out is free, free music. Uh, I met him online, actually, on Twitter uh, a while back and offered for him to be on my label. He makes really dope tunes, like, of, of all bass genres, really. Um, so him and I have grown pretty close down here. As far as other people that I met down here, um, not a whole lot of other producers that I've really worked with down here yet. Uh, that doesn't mean I don't want to work with any. Happy Colors, I've known him for a minute. Uh, he used to come up and play in Boston, so uh, he's one of the dopest when it comes to any type of like bass music, tropical bass music, Moomba. Uh, definitely Happy Colors for sure. Damn. I like uh, eagles, I'm not gonna lie. Eagles are pretty dope. They get to soar around, don't really get fucked with. Uh, about 10 years. Um, someone who I've become close with that really influences me um, with all my production is gonna be Slink, uh, DJ Slink from New Jersey. I make Jersey Club. Um, it's still a subculture, so it's really fucking awesome uh, to see it's starting to grow worldwide. And he's been at like the forefront of it, touring that like internationally. Um, so I'm gonna say Slink, my bandmate, who uh, is a professor at Berkeley. He goes by Module Octopus. He's like been a super inspiration to me and like really pushed me to produce more. Um, there's plenty others that I like. If I listed them, we'd be here all night. Um, I would say playing cool shows, but honestly, like just meeting other dope producers. Um, I'll say meeting like humble people who are just down to make music. That's that's very important. Is like humbleness. I'll say some people that I've met that I've like been lucky enough to play with that are super humble. It's like I gotta give a shout out to Twelfth Planet, definitely Slink, Cashmere Cat, um, Bass Nectar is uh, someone I'm. I'm fucking really fond of. He's a really dope dude and makes amazing music. Um, so yeah, definitely best experience is just like working with as many people as possible and putting out dope music. Uh, my drive is to win. Like I'm very intrinsically motivated. So everything I do is to make myself happy. Um, I want to continue making a living off music and I want my music to live on like way longer than I have. Don't buy plays or followers, it's about the wackest thing you can do and it does nothing for you, especially now that 
promoters and booking agents and talent buyers are finally figuring out that followers don't mean anything. That uh, someone might have a bunch of followers, but they won't really bring anyone to the show because they bought them all. Don't do that. Stay honest with yourself and just make whatever you want to make. Don't make what's cool. Just make what you love. Man, if I don't say this, everyone on my Twitter will be pissed. I love pizza. I'm on a healthy kick right now, but... Pizza. Um, SoundCloud.com slash DJ Homewrecker. I also have another project with Module Octopus. Uh, we're called the Blunt Sinatras. Uh, all kinds of funky bass music, really Dominican inspired. Um, he's Dominican, so there's a lot of that Latin flavor in there. Um, yeah, check me out on Twitter as well at DJ underscore Homewrecker. Keep supporting underground movements and subcultures. Um, subcultures are really important. They come from, they generally come from places that don't have a lot, and it's creative people that turn things around. So support those that, uh, that try to start nights like this. Um, this one's going well, this is the third one. I came for the second one to check it out, and it was packed. So keep supporting people that do things like this. Thank you.